Roger, 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 sports fans. So this is a video to show you something I've had a little bit of difficulty with. Not that it's hard or anything, just that it's uh, fiddly. Um, so this is a, a signal generator, basically, to uh, generate a signal. I'm after making a tuning fork to calibrate radar. Uh, so it needs to make a signal of about 4... Thousand hertz or so like that. So this is basically based around the two N three nine or four transistor, very common transistor. Probably be able to zoom in on it there. Maybe shit, your phone's doing all right there. Isn't it? So that's the two N three nine or four. I know it just looks like it. Well, an Android's brain or something like that at the moment. So um, and if I, I've run out. Of prototype boards basically I would have loved to have had a prototype board tonight trust me but I did it the hard way so the reason it's quite messy is because I've been shotgunning gunning parts, shotgunning parts you know trying different ones so just to hook a little battery up to it it does make the sound don't worry I'll show you the uh, diagram in a minute bastard bit of a pain in the ass but I'll put the battery on it with one hand so, you you know, I'll reveal why I want it at a later time. Uh, I've took the adjustable resistor off it, so now I'll show you the circuit for it. Hopefully, if you've got 640x480 on YouTube, you should be able to see that. If not, now press print screen on your computer, yeah, and you'll be able to get that circuit off there. You know, print screen, get it into paintbrush or something. Just to have a look at the circuit more carefully now that you've probably got that. It's based around the 2N3904 transistor. Uh, and I've tried I've tried to, I've purposefully not used a transistor symbol there because it's kind of confusing when you're trying to build it. <laughs> there's there's what I mean. It gets really quite confusing when you try to build it without a prototype board just in mid-air like that. So I've I drew this circuit diagram to simplify the layout basically you could use transistors things uh, you know symbols if you wanted it's dead simple though it just sort of like connects the base of one to the capacitor of, that's being charged of the other basically so in the way i've done it is i've removed that adjustable resistor there which would have sort of adjusted the pitch but it didn't seem to work very well it would just crackle it and i just want it to generate about four kilohertz anyway so uh Oh, I think it's something like four. I've got it written down somewhere. Four point. <laughs> Can't see it. Four. Yeah, four three nine seven hertz is about sixty one miles an hour to an a K band radar apparently. So um, anyway, I've just gone and put. I've just there's just a straight wire that's gone, so it looks a bit like that. <laughs> and there's a, a speaker, so that's what this shitty bundle here is. Uh, so. Just to uh, sort of, how do I know what frequency it's making? Well, I've got this program on the computer. Let me turn the light off on my phone. I just don't need it at this point. It's a bit late, really. I could do without making shitty noises like this, but I'll do it. So, I hold it near this, the microphone on my laptop. And turn it on. Oh. Yeah, hold it just a bit away from the microphone on my laptop. See, the frequency varies. That, so it was reading about 5 kilohertz, wasn't it? So that's more than adequate. Uh, there's a circuit. Turn the light back on. So, yeah. The reason I wanted it is because you can uh, apparently tune... Uh, radar with it if I can figure out what speed it is and what hertz it is and all that like, it's not as controllable as I liked but you could use it to make a little synthesizer or something when I started off with uh, bigger capacitors you, you wind up with a lower note it's, it sounded pretty like computer gamey anyway this is uh, a stable oscillator buzzing peace out